well. This is interesting. We've got a lot of things that we can make. Let's go and have a look at the price of many of them. Hey, Ava. Uh, yeah? I've been watching you, you know? Watching you build stuff on Furrowfield. Back on our island, and now here on Crumbledon. Okay, well, what's your, what are you thinking, Marloth? 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 Ah, oh, damn it. Well, first and foremost, I'm thinking you should really get my name right. Secondly, though, I think I've got the hang of it now. Oh, no. Let me have a go on the workbench, will you? Oh, no. Okay, here goes. Okay, looking good. It's a good start. And then you do it like this, right? Uh-huh. Yeah. Huh? Ah. Why can't I do it? Why? Everyone else can build stuff, but whatever I try, nothing works. Maybe that voice was right. Maybe I really am just a master of destruction. Uh, forget it. Why do I need to build anything anyway? When I've got a real live builder by my side, you can take care of the crafting, but if any monsters need mashing, I'm your man. That's right, man. Oh, no, there's so many people now. I need a new bedroom. Oh, damn it, I just built that one. But, yeah, <laughs> it's going to take a while. And I can almost promise you that's going to take a while. Uh, still, that looks quite nice. Uh, I might make some. Hmm. I fit two in? Maybe I could. Uh, it only needs glass, so sure, I'll grab four. Uh, and by four, I mean 20. Because, you know. Uh, we've got beds that I can just make loads of. We've got many, many good things. Simple beds. I could make... Sure, eight of these. Why not? Make eight simple beds, please and thank you. My miners deserve to live in comfort, damn it. And a water jug made of silver. That is not going to get made any time soon. Plant pots, though. That's quite cool. Uh, dumbbells, okay. Playing cards, very nice. Uh, the I need iron for that. Ah, no, really, double me of iron. Why? Oh. Let's have a look then. All right. So first and foremost, perfect. Mm, not as perfect out here though. Unless that works. Doesn't really, though, does it? Doesn't really. I'm amazed that that window gets restored, frankly. There we go. I think this will do. Perfect. Right, let's get these set up. I'm going to need to make more bedrooms sooner or later anyway. Let's be honest with ourselves. It just won't stand that we've got such squalor in my base. Donk. 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 What? Really? Give it some whirly. No, really? Come on. Save that energy for the mine, guys. There we are. Some nicer beds for you. Right, so with that done, I guess the next thing is uh, to head on down into the mine, I would say. Unless uh, there's what? Uh... New residents will join the town. More recipes will be unlocked at the crafting station. Indeed, right. Okay, so down into the mine we go at this point, I would say. Unless there's anyone else with a mission for me around here? Don't see anything. There's some water down there. Some water over there. Now, funnily enough, though, there seems to be an indication that I could farm stuff. Now, that I wasn't expecting. Also, I really do feel that if nothing else, maybe I could just make a, a toilet. Yeah, let, let me just quickly make a toilet. It's 
not going to be much, but it'll be enough, I think. Um, there we go. Now, do we... Can we make any single tile doors? Is the question. If not, I'm going to have to make a double door. Rather not, though, if I could avoid it. Uh, okay. That requires an iron ingot. Uh, not exactly the best, I'll be honest with you. Well, Alright. We're going to have to go and get some more copper then. Unless I've got more. I don't. Oh, wait, we're, we're a little bit closer to having the toilet for you anyway. Do you have anything more to say other than fix up the tunnels and build a bar? Gold rocks. Need metal. Do favors, get metal. Okay. okay. Uh, fix up the tunnels. First favor, fix tunnels. Mine tunnels have bad damage. Dangerous. Make tunnels safe. Miners go deeper in tunnels. Get more metal. All right. Well, that's all we really needed. We have 190 lumps of copper now. We still need 810 more lumps to become copper golem. Very well. I will get... Uh, actually, I need to go down the other way. I teleported, didn't I? Ah, drag down and blast. I don't have a minecart. Quay. That being said, is there more to this place? I mean, there's an area over here. That seems to go nowhere. Hmm. Could go to the copper dig site and work my way back from there. Yeah, let's go head on down and see what we can find. If nothing else, we've got a bunch of uh, copper being dug down here, but I'm certain there's going to be more about. It might be a case that we need more of the miners to get into the mine. I wonder if we could use one of those bombs down here, though. Oh, I could have uh, popped that tankard up there. My bad. Scarpa Maroth. Okay, that really didn't do much. Better what? Not too much. I don't want to explode things too close to the areas where I have buildings, though. That's minecarts. Over here is actually somewhere I haven't been. Hmm. Okay. Where does it go? Uh, nowhere, really. All right. I may take out some more of the, the copper seams on the way back, though. We'll see. The bar is very nearly done, but I don't see what I need to do to fix up the tunnels anymore. Clearly need one of the miners to show me. Lord Falada, thank you very much for the nine months, mate. Listen here, lads, the light's fading fast, so we'd better get cracking with today's accumulation decoration. That'll never, never get old. Just warning you now. Little Rabbit, thank you very much for the 300 bits earlier. And CK Hawk, thank you so much for the tip. Can I move iron blocks with my builder gloves? If so, there are some laying around if you want to, don't want to wait until you can find it in the mine. Also, don't forget to add apples for drinks. Oh, cool. very good call. Very good call. Gather around, lads. It's time to kick off today's declaration. And it looks like we've got a uh, bag to bumper all. First up is Avakshir, and he won't be disappointed. Here goes 11 lumps of coal, 8 lumps of copper, and that's all. Really? But there's so many more workers. Ugh. All right. 720 more copper to become a copper column. All right, that's your lot. You boys deserve a digger's sugar or two tonight. Just make sure you're up bright and early for mining in the morning. Very well. But while all that's going on, I'm going to continue back through... Maybe mine some coal. Ooh, there's sand over there. Maybe we can take that out. No, oh, leave me alone. How rude. Go fight him. Go. Oh, Scotty back. Thank you. That didn't go anywhere. My bombs can't even destroy the uh, large amounts of stone either. That's a bit of a shame. 
I was hopeful that that might be a way that I could. A rather an expensive way to do it, but uh, a way to get into some of the other items. Okay. Oh. Enjoy. Okay, apparently not. Very well. Actually, that, that barely hurt the Mole Man anyway, so I don't have high hopes for that being a useful weapon. Damn it. There we go. Take this guy down. There we go. <laughs> I didn't notice the animation of the uh, axe falling on his head before. Right, well, I don't think... Ooh. Oh, well, that's a, that, that's probably just telling me that it's a... A... Uh, little house there. We'll explore Overworld. We might find more out there. Either that... Or we just need to do a little bit more exploring of what's available in there. There might be a bit more to do. Right, where do I need to place these? Let's go and have a look. Full flagons. Okay. So in here. Simple zipper set. There we go. Two simple zipper sets. The improvements to the bar make the miners more motivated. Now they'll mine more metal. Oh, fantastic. Truly wondrous. Should have done that earlier then. My bad. Oh my days, the bar's looking more and more like its old self. Once this gas finished, the miners will be able to devote themselves to digging during the day, safe in the knowledge they can come here at night and dump their stresses at the door. I can picture it now. It'll be just like gold rush days, back when the island was buzzing and business was booming. People flocked here from far and wide, open to strike it lucky in the mines and walk away millionaires. Plenty did, until the day the digging dr dried up. The miners turned into monsters, fighting tooth and claw over every last speck of metal. That's when the children of Argon showed up. They said the only way to stop the scrapping was to close down the mines for good. They had a point, you know. But while the bitter fighting might have stopped, the moment them tunnels were sealed off, the moment our dreams died. To tell you the truth, I'm still on the fence about going against them, but you've shown me that building ain't bad. In fact, it's bleeding brilliant. I'm really glad. I believe in you, Avak. Let's get this island up and running again. Very well. Okay, next shot. The pub's coming along nicely, and the mine's looking more and more like a proper working pit. But the more tunnels you open up, the more workers you'll need to fill them. It's about time you rang that blasted bell again and brought in a few new faces. With a few more miners, our metal output will go up, and I can get more bums on seats in my pub. And the more they drink, the more they dig. It's a win-win situation. If you ain't backed up enough energy just yet, make yourself busy and see if there's anyone in need of a favour or two. I'd sure to earn you some gratitude. Yeah. Well, in Avak, more miners means more punters in the pub, and more metal coming out of the mine. It also means more burly blokes chasing after me darling babs, too. Hmm. Sometimes I wonder if I'm really a good father, making her live in a rough, tough place like this. My missus passed away years back. Since then, I've been raising babs single-handed. I love that girl more than life itself. She's the vine apple of me eye. Oh, Havak, what have I done? How could I ever think it'd be okay to let Babs, me own flesh and blood, dress up like some salad munching sideshow? Maybe I just should pull the fishnets myself. Uh, put on the fishnets myself. It wouldn't get the bar busting like Babs would, but I reckon it'd tickle the fancy of a fair few of these fellas. <laughs> well, maybe. Dad! You don't have to do that. I've decided. I'm going to be a dancing girl, just like Mum was. Oh, my darling. <laughs> you make your old dad proud. I'm kind of miffed that I won't get to wear a lovely leotard myself. <laughs> wow, Dan. Okay. It seems you need to work through some stuff, mate. Okay, so... <laughs> Hello. Oh, before, before, before. Let me just sort things out. Need more vine apples. Need more drinks on them tables. Oh. 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 Right. Okay then, Babs. Hi, Avak. Looks like you're making decent progress with building Dad's pub. We've got a good thing going with the drinks, but we're still missing a signature dish. Something that'll fill the miners' bellies after a long day of digging. I've got an idea for what I want to do, but I can't do it myself. Can you help me? Yeah, of course I can. Thanks. What I want is a room all my own, where I can try out some of the recipes I've been thinking up. It needs... it'll need a mushroom in it. 
and a chest and two bonfires. Everything you need to make a mushroom cook room. A mushroom cook room? What? All kinds of different fungi grow in the tunnels, but they're pretty fragile. I need a live one for me room. So don't mash it with your mallet. Pick it up nice and gently with your gloves. Uh, okay. Matteo? Uh, thank you very much, Chad, by the way, for the uh, advice not to gather every single mushroom I ever come across. That was good advice. No, no, wait. Ah, damn it. How's it going, Alec? I've been watching you building and whatnot, and I gotta say, you work pretty hard for someone so puny. Now we got miners living in, uh, more miners living here. We need a few more facilities, starting with a proper place to rest our aching muscles after a day down the pit. I'm talking about a dormitory, ain't I? A small room with eight beds, a trio of pots, and an inside on the wall. Should do. It's got to be a small room. That's the most important thing. Burly boys like us can't sleep without uh, our bulging biceps bumping against one another. Uh... Right. Inside, wall hanging. A sign that shows guests are welcome to stay the night. Okay. You lads have fun now. Mark Rock, with a builder like you on our side, I'm sure the glory days will return to Grumble Dun soon. I can hardly believe we let the children of Hargon fool us for so long. Building, the root of all evil. What a load of cobblers! But you've shown us the light, Avak. You've shown us that we don't have to spend our whole lives living in the Dark Ages. Speaking of darkness, do you know what I think this town could do with? Some street lights. It gets far too gloomy after dark. We could really do with brightening the place up a bit. Ten sconces should do be plenty to make things nice and bright. It might help to keep the ghosts and ghoulies away too. Uh, let's not talk about ghoulies right now, thank you. Um, right. I need to go and gather all of this up. And I'm probably going to need to start popping these drinks down. Dunk. Dunk. Right. And clip. There we go. Right, now, I should, I think, be able to... Pop one of these in there. Tidy up. Put away. One. Oh. As the major minor manager, I'm going to get the lads digging like their lives depend on it. Listen. Listen out for the next evening report to see how we do. I, I will do. Okay. I'll do for now. I need the diggers' sugars to make a flag. Yes, I do, but I've got plenty, and I want to give them a drink. They're doing hard work. Go. What I'm going to need is a chest, I've no doubt. Oops, that's not quite what I wanted to do. There we go. Right then, so to make the room that we need, so the farmer's bedroom, it had to be a dormitory, didn't it? With it was eight beds, I think. Let's have a look. Rustic bathroom, simple kitchen, agricultural kitchen, dining room, private bedroom. Toilet barn. Doesn't seem that I've got this paddock. We grasswood gate haystack. Yeah, it doesn't seem to have anything like that in there right now. Alright, so. I can probably have a word with them to find out again what exactly it is I need. But, oh, damn it. That's why I just need a dormitory. Well, tell me what I need to make it then. Dormitory only eight beds, three pots, and an inside on the wall. And it's got to be a small room, nice and cosy, for the lads. Okay, so 
I can do this. It will be done. Oh, make sure you hang the inside on the wall where everyone can see it. Uh, okay. Now, as for the pots. Okay, I need one more pot. Uh, no, I need two more pots, rather. So, let's go and get that sorted. Uh, I've got... I need the bonfire for our quest. Oh, do I need straw bedding? Really? That's kind of annoying. I mean, I've got it already, so that shouldn't be too much of a problem, but still, it's a little bit frustrating. And the inside. Oh. Let's go and get this sorted. I am also going to put the uh, adobe wall on my hotbar because I am, in fact, going to take this down. No, 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 it's fine. Don't worry, don't worry. Everyone go back to sleep, for goodness sake. Oh, my goodness. Excuse me. I, I know that you're the ones who want it to be really cozy. Don't blame me for how crowded it is, all right? But, but you can't sleep on the floor like that. Please move. Oh, my Lord. Right, where am I going to put this? I could put it over here. And I think putting the, the sign right there will do. Small dormitory. Okay, so I did need the straw breads. Fantastic. Hooray! So much appreciation. What I reckon the pub needs is a signature dish. Uh, we'll get that sorted, Babs. Don't you worry. Okay. Bunk. Let's grab these. All of that. Right. No, that, that is not what I meant to do. It's like my dreams have been answered. This dormitory is perfect. The lads will be chuffed a bit. God blame me, Havoc. Why do you have to be so nice and clever and pretty? Uh. Uh. Listen here. You stick to Malroth, all right? Or Goldie Rocks, if that's your thing. Don't you even think about getting your orcs into Babs. She's mine. No. W what the? What's got into you, Goldie Rocks? Havoc ain't your type. How dare. Pretty lady not belong to you. Me like pretty lady too. Yes. Oh, for crying out loud. You give a guy a copper bonce and he only goes and gets ideas in it. You've got to hand it to him, though. Never misses a chance to give his two nuggets worth when Bab's name crops up. One truck mind, that fella. All right, then. Game on. But if I was Babs, and I had to pick between an half-baked builder, a metal-headed moron, or Digby, the iron-abbed Adonis, I know who I'd choose. The Iron Abt Adonis. <laughs> the Iron Abt Adonis. Uh. <laughs> uh. <laughs> That's so fantastic. Ah, so fantastic, my lord. Bunk. Whee! Alright, based on how late it is, EDT, I'm going to guess it's not going to be a 12-hour tw stream. <laughs> is that a challenge? Um, you fail to realise Havoc doesn't sleep, Alex. Uh, this this is uh, possibly true. Right, I need some food, though. So, uh, and by food, I mean fruit de flambe. Om nom nom. And more fruit de flambe. Now, we've got that sorted. Grab some more of these. And this one. And then we'll grab another. Yeah, infinite wood on this island is so useful, my lord. There they go. Enjoy. How much are you going to leave behind for that? I hope it's a lot. Lots of appreciation, please. Need every little bit. There you go. Uh, right. Let's grab the last of the glass. Did we have any? Yes, we did. Nice. 
Okay, 30 lumps of copper. That will come in ex exceedingly handy, I think. Uh, let's have a look at you. The iron is going to be tricky for us to make, certainly. Um, but the digger's jigger will be able to finish off, and that will help out a fair old bit. We've got to get an iron ingot, though. Where are we going to find the iron ingots? I have no idea yet. But uh, we need some oil. Uh, sure, I'll take some chests. Let's go and grab some oil then. Oh yeah, a few sconces as well would be useful. Um, I mean, I could just make a couple of those, but again, I still need some oil, so... Let's head out. Go take out some slimes. I'm sorry you're so adorable, but also so ugly that I need to kill you. Out. There we go. There we are, perfect. And you as well. We'll actually explore a little bit today. We're not going to head down the mine. I'm going to leave the, the lads to take care of that for me. Um, that is going to annoy me more than you could possibly know. Aha. There we go. Sorted. Right. Onwards. We're not going to... We're not going to slay the uh, Una Rabbit. No, no, Ma. Uh. You're not going to do the job correctly, Malof. Don't start it. Seriously, though. Come on now. I just told you it would annoy me. This guy, the Wagyu. Like this. We need plenty of oil, because we've really been low on it for a while now. So we want to gather as much as we can while we're out here. Thank you. Nope. Aye. Damn it. Fair enough. Thank you. Now, getting a uh, 40 damage sword for these fights might not be a bad idea overall. Ouch. Yep. But uh, I still think it's probably better to have the uh, occasional instant kills. They happen often enough to make it worthwhile, in my opinion. Like that. Uh, we're a little ways towards level 12. Thankfully, this isn't like Horizon Zero Dawn, and I'm not hopelessly overleveled just by enjoying the combat in the game. The combat is, is cathartic in this, but the combat in, in Horizon Zero Dawn is actively really, really engaging. Especially now I found the Thunder Jaws. If you don't think I'm going to be farming Thunder Jaws, you are so hopelessly mistaken. Oh my lord. Hello. What be you? And you? Hmm. Just, just plants. Okay, well, uh... Ooh, does this go anywhere? Oh, no, it does not. That is a shame. But this might. Where does this go? Ah, no one. Nowhere, really. Okay, fair enough. The damage on this weapon is pretty low. Gloves to take one. Ah, okay. Thank you very much, chat. Uh, Avak, how highly would you rate Horizon? A friend of mine has it, and I've been considering picking it up for myself. I would rate it very highly. Very, very highly indeed. Okay. Green, red, red, pink, blue. Black on top. Uh, pink, blue. Okay, that's fairly easy to do. Ah, so... No, no, the pink is in the wrong place. I was going to say that maybe... No, because they're, they're opposite each other. Can I take the blocks out of here? I 
can. Maybe I'm gonna have to. Can I? No, I can't. Okay. Fair enough. So, what am I missing? Because that is not the same pan. Black is very much in the wrong place. Uh, I'm going to assume that this is not as simple as, as I'm hoping it is, but I'm going to try it anyway, just so I'm not overthinking the problem, because I've, you know, been gu very guilty of doing that before. Um, let me just pop that down for a second. not it. Nope. Can't seem to remove it. Hmm. You see, the thing with this is that looking at this at this um, cube, what I initially thought is that it would be like a, a dice. Because a dice has a predictable pattern, it always adds up to seven. Always. But, red, red, pink. But over here it's red, and then pink is on this side. So that's broken that rule. It couldn't be pink in that case. Because this, this dice has already broken that. Because if we assume that red is any of the numbers, then pink has to equal seven when it's opposite it, and that means that pink can only be opposite one thing. And that should be red. Hmm. Oh, wait. Someone in chat just pointed that out. Yes, yes, you're quite right. I did set the red myself. What a bloody bonkers idiot I am. Um, I set the red, the... Green myself. Ah, my lord. I'm a derp. Why? Why am I such a derp? I don't know. Don't don't answer. Don't please. It wouldn't reflect well on me. Okay, so um, it's still not quite right. No, 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 no. I can't see the blue. That makes sense. The red needs to be at the top. For this pattern to be possible, the red has to be at the top. And red will be opposite blue, which will be down the bottom. Yeah, that, that makes much more sense. You're just reorienting the uh, the cube now. So... Well, where, where is black going to be? I don't know. But red has to be at the top. That's, that's a given. For it to be able to be next to pink and black, which is what... It's almost like a Rubik's Cube now rather than the dice, but it's probably following the same rules as dice do. So, red is beside pink and black. Blue would be... Straight down. Green would be... To the side of black, and then yellow would be opposite here, then. Thank you, Chad, because honestly, if you hadn't reminded me that I was the one who placed the red, I would have been very... I would have been looking for all sorts of other possibilities there. I... This way. My brain! My brain doesn't work! Dunk. Yay! Oh, it gave a jingle when the blocks were being put in place. I honestly didn't even notice that. I should have. That was very unobservant of me. But there we go. Thank you very much for reminding me how much a derp I am, chat. to next then. I still want to get more oil, but we'll just grab whatever oil we can on the way back at this point. We're not going to go out of our way to hunt it. Hi back. Is it past your bedtime? Uh, I mean, I haven't really been sleeping well. I never really do, but I haven't been sleeping well especially. <laughs> but no, don't worry about it. If it gets too bad, I'll, I'll enforce my own curfew, but... 
too bad to wait off for now. Hello. Well, thank you there. Thank you so much for the resubscription. I'm so sorry that I managed to miss that somehow. Well, thank you so much for the nine months. Okay. Right, so, with all of that stuff, we need a couple of sconces. Just a few will do. Where are you? Have I missed them? Oh, my copper ingots, of course. Right, now we wanted something like 10 sconces, so, sure. Go ahead and make it 10, pop them around the town. Here and there, there and here. I'm not sure it'll count the ones that are inside the, the room, but hopefully it does. I left the ladders, oh well. I'm sure I'll forgive myself at some point. One. Two. Uh, actually, I kind of want to put the, the cook station over there. Actually, that's a very good place to put one. As is there. Another one around on this side as well. There we go. Oh, no, one more. Sorry. There we go. Wonderful. Thanks, Avak. The place looks much brighter now. You're welcome. As you know, Dad, notice life in this town revolves around two things, the mine and the pub. During the day, the miners head underground and work the seams. Then, after the sun sets, they head to the bar and work their drinking muscles. Can you see where Crumble Dunn earned its reputation as the town that never sleeps? Yep, those blokes love living it up in the pub until the early hours, and now that we have lights to ward off the mean spirits, they can. All that's missing is their drinking hall. Well... I don't have any more errands for you right now, but if you wanted a place for a few more streetlights about town, you won't hear me complaining. Ah, oh, fair enough. Good night, uh, Dagneo. I was hoping to see you in Dragon Quest Builders 2, so I can say to my little girl, I was in one. It's almost 4 a.m. now, though. I hope you can say, say, uh, Dag Dagneo in the stream for the YouTube event for me. There you go. I hope I haven't butchered your name too much. I'm fairly certain I have, but... Uh, let's see. We want more and more and more. Chunk. Fantastic. Right, let's go and have a chat. It looked like you actually had more work. Oh, what? And the lights are fading fast, so we'd better get cracking with today's accumulation declaration. Gather round, lads. It's time to kick off today's declaration, and it looks like we've got a bag to bumper all. First up is Avakshir, and he won't be disappointed. Here goes 11 lumps of coal, 8 chunks of copper, and that's all. Here's your share, Goldie Rocks. 103 lumps of copper. Goldie Rocks looks very happy. Only 617 more lumps needed. That is so good. All right, that's your lot. You boys will serve a Dickens Jigger or two tonight. Just make sure you're up bright and early for more mining in the morning. Hello there, Avak. Now we've got a few more miners on board, opening up the deeper mine shaft is a real possibility. Leave it to me, Magrog. I'll lead the lads as deep as deep can be and see what we can find. If memory serves, there's a vein of iron just past where you found the copper. That'll come in very handy for rebuilding the pub. Iron, eh? Lovely jubbly. Me and the lads will go and scope it out. Meet us in the mines when you're ready, Avak. All right. Oh, we are definitely going to be digging too deeply and too greedily. You have to the mine again, Avak. Here, take these. Ooh, thank you. Avak obtained three servings of the shrooms on a stick. I made them myself. Well, can't have you getting angry now, can we? Thanks, Babs. Hey, how come you get lovingly crafted lunch and I get a diddly squat? It's not fair. Anyway, don't forget that your job isn't all about mining for metal. You've also got to fix up the tunnels so the miners can get to the seams. 
Right, once you've led them safely to the iron, bring me back ten lumps so I can give it a once over. The destination has been added to our map. Hooray! But, 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 before we get to that, Babs, can you remind me what I need for you? Uh, let's take a dish. Mushroom, a chest, and two bonfires. Right, got it. Two bonfires, a mushroom. Uh, we got the bonfires in here? No, we don't. And a chest. Okay. Let's so grab some more bonfires then. There we go. Let's make this one a little bit nicer. I don't need that many, but we'll, we'll make 50 of them just so I've got them. How about, it's 4 a.m. here as well, so I'd better head off to bed myself. Now, see you around, guys and gals. I'll take care, Telcast. Enjoy, mate. It's a shame I can't make some of the um, items that I had previously in the, in the last island. There we go. We'll pop these into the pub as well while we're on our way. Womp. 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 There we go. The improvements to the bar make the miners more motivated. Now they'll mine more metal. Excellent. Very happy with that, actually. Perfect. I can probably go and hammer the, uh, the bell, but I think we're fine. Right. I can't do much about that, but uh, what I can do is make a little bit of a cook area. Now, what I'm thinking is... Um, sure, I'll take those. Horizontal logs, but I can't do anything. I can't make the, the vertical ones. Annoying. Where's my adobe? There we go. There we go. And... Let's get something like this going. If only I could make the wooden blocks, I would really, really like that. But alas, it seems that I'm kind of stuck. Havak is absolutely starving. Well, Babs has taken care of me, so that's fine. Also, a little bit more. And I've blocked myself in. Because I am so clever... Ugh, there we go. Alright, now we just need to block in the floor. I mean, it's not going to be pretty. I've only got, like, one realistic building material to use here, but... It'll be something, at the very least. Um, oh, is that, is that what it looks like when it gets that tall? Okay. Really? Oh. Ah, I see. It's updated the texture on the outside now. Get rid of that as far as we can. Oh, one, two, tall. In fact, what we want now is the... Fencing. Just at the top. And then the door will be somewhere in here. Now, ah, damn it, I can only make a two wide door. Poop. Hadn't considered that. That is a bit of a pain in the bum. Uh... 
I wonder what we can do about that, because I do like the idea of having the, the cook house a little bit higher up for some reason. I have no idea why I like it. I just do. Two. Uh, I am going to need some more sconces around, though. Be honest, having the uh, designing things like this really reminds me of of uh, Stone Half. And how much I bloody well miss playing that game right now. Actually, we'll place this on the building itself. And the same over here. Oh, am I out? Oh, damn it, I am out. Okay, let me go and grab some more then. Right. Uh, we need one more sconce. I guess we can make the this door. Don't let them do that. Thank you. My lord, come on. Please kill him. Also, don't break my stuff. There we go. So what'd you get, you scallywag? Go away. I guess for now we're just going to have to accept it. It's not ideal. But it's also not terrible, I suppose. Tiny food. Actually, I think it only needed one chest, didn't it? There we go. Right, I shall be right back. That is not where it meant to be. Let's just move all those down. Actually, I do want these up on my inventory. These can go down as well and then tidy it. There we go. Alright, let's go and get myself a nice mushroom. Nope. Not happening. Gone. Mushrooms, haha! Sorry, Mal uh, Malroth. Don't worry. Uh, sure. And then... Thank you. Gotcha. Right, okay. Back we go. Uh, I probably can give a, a weapon to a couple of townsfolk, yeah. Tiny mushroom cookroom. Ha ha! Actually, I want to put that on a barrel, realistically. Thank you for all the appreciation. It is much appreciated, but don't Is that my mushroom cookroom? It's lovely. You can almost smell the spores. Uh, this place will be perfect for tender mushrooms. And rustling up some recipes. Give me a bit longer, and I'm sure I can come up with an idea for the pub's signature dish. You're welcome, Babs. Eh? You reckon I'm a thoughtful daughter, the way I'm always thinking about how to build up my dad's bar? It ain't nothing, really. I just want to make a dish that'll give the lads the energy they need down in the mine. Mm -hmm. If anything, you're the thoughtful one. The way you've stuck around to help us all out. I suppose that, fella's feeling, uh, that fellow feeling of yours must have rubbed off on me. Well, it's high time I knuckled down and got to work on this recipe. You'll help me if I need it, right, Avak? Of course I will. There we go. Yoink. Right, now I do want to make a barrel. I think that mushroom would look better on a barrel. Possibly some other things, actually. Let's have a look at what we've got. 
got... I'm gonna make this, yeah, sure. And... Uh, a keg counter, not quite what I want. Connect and counter. Convenient connectable table for a tavern or inn. Connect to one place adjacently. Hmm. You know what? Let's get two of these. That'll do. It doesn't really sit there, does it? Hmm. Does it even sit on the floor? It kind of does sit on the floor. Hmm. Not ideal. I'll pop the mushroom over here then. Look, I know, I know, I'm messing around. Just give me a second, okay? okay. I think that's a bit better. Might be. Let's move the chest over. No, don't set fire to the chest. Move it over. Oh, my lord. Uh-oh. I can't... Oh, okay. So I can't do that with a regular button. Very well. I understand now. There we go. That's a bit better. It's super tiny, but yeah, hopefully it'll it'll be good. Right, so, next is us heading down into the mines, I think. This game is so insistent when you move things. I know, right? And that scars, goes a lot down. Feels a little bit better. Right. So, with that done... I uh, will go down into the mines. Let's head over here. There we go. Bonk. Now, you said there were a couple of torches around here that showed me where to go. Were there really? No! No, it was just a wall, but I should have perhaps known. They looked kind of, uh, convenient. Watch Avak, watch a Malroth. Uh, Malroth. Glad you could make it. Me tingling triceps tell me there's a tunnel on the other side of this wall. We could have knocked it down without your help, but we thought it best away. Fancy putting that armor of yours to good use? A rusty wrecking ball would do the trick too. Go on, do us a favor and get this wall down. Very well. Uh, there we are. Actually, got quite a few of these now. I will eventually make some armor. I know, I know, I'm being a dope. Wood. Just grab a little bit of everything. There we go. Waste not, want not, as the saying goes. I kind of placed that in the wrong spot, but fine. Nice one, Avak. I knew there was another tunnel behind that wall. Let's push on, lads. I reckon there's an old stinking load of iron down this way. Just a word of advice. If you catch any of the lads star staring into space, it could be a sign we've spotted a problem. So don't make us suffer in silence. See if you can sort us out. I will. Don't you worry. Should I be returning some of these mushrooms to, to Babs, I wonder, so that she can make more stuff? Quite possibly something I should do. I'll bear that in mind. No. Naughty. Bad. Naughty. Super bad. Go away. No. Not happening. Please stop. There we go. Go. Stop it with your magic shenanigans, you. Well, I'll start collecting the mushrooms now, anyway. Hmm. Oh, apparently you were, you unlock more islands to work on in post-game. That's pretty awesome. It's super awesome, in fact. So there's more to the game once you've completed the main quest. I mean, to be fair, it's a building game, so there's going to be lots more to the game anyway, just if you enjoy building. I'm making things pretty, like. Thank you. Accept. I also accept these. Right. 
some more apples. Hello. Can you mend them what? As a major minor manager, I'm gonna get the lad sticking. Uh, can you mend them supports? Oh, right, okay. Sure. Consider it already done. Ah, okay. Maybe a little less done. Sort it. Oh, yeah, back. You ain't forgetting to fix some support somewhere, are you? What? What do you mean? I just fixed all of those. Scallywag. I'll we'll see you and your bi bil bulging biceps helping. Oh, Lord. Okay, that's going to be a bit more of a tricky one. Maybe able to squeeze it up there. No. Cool. Haha! -ha! I'm so lazy. I've repairs the supports! Hooray! Off to work. No! Don't want any of your shovely nonsense, please and thank you. Hello. I mean, to be fair, you're probably thinking exactly the same about my poop sword nonsense, but uh, I'm the one with the poop sword, so. Okay. And sand look, looks suspicious. Hello there. Let's have a look. It looks like there's a quest really close by, though, and that's kind of throwing me off. Oh, what the dickens? I was expecting no chance. Hello. Why is there what looks like a, um, children of Hargon beanbag on the ground? Uh. Hmm. Except, Abba contains a rock bomb bed. Okay. Abba learns a new recipe. Rock bomb bed. Decorative item. A soft and fluffy sleeping space resembling a rock bomb. Can be slept on. Oh. Well, that's going to go into someone's private room at some point. Oh. Ow. Where have we got to go next? Uh, there's been a bit of digging over there. Hooray! Level up. Malroth gets stronger and Avak reaches level 13. His maximum HP is increased. His breath gauge gets a little bit longer. Oh, okay. So I can run for, for, for longer. It's kind of cool. I'm fairly certain my breath gauge is also my stamina gauge. For all intents and purposes. I believe them to be one and the same. Well, let's connect the tunnels together. Uh, very well. Oh, now. Oh, hang on. Those look like uh, ancient tombs. They're playing. Every game ever has taught me anything. If you're randomly excavating and you find something that suddenly doesn't look like a mountain and instead looks like some sort of buried temple, uh, it probably is a buried temple, in fact, and it was probably buried for a reason. 